when students take devices home, one of the most difficult things is that you really can't help them out very well. And so you want to make things as smooth and streamlined as possible when it comes to having students work independently. So here I made a Google Slides presentation on a Chromebook. Um, and if I sent this out to students via classroom, they would have access to it, make a copy of it, and then they would be able to go through the lesson and whatnot. So I just have an article and some questions that they can answer throughout the Google Slides presentation. But if I want students to be able to get to this quickly, and I don't want it to be a lot of hassle, if I want them to get to it right away, probably the simplest way to do that is to actually have them save it as a bookmark. And so to do that, they simply just click and drag and put it directly on their bookmark bar like so. And that would allow them to just get to it quickly, respond when they come back to school, then they can actually turn it in uh, this is also handy if they have issues with internet at home. They can be able to get to their slide presentation real quickly without jumping into the files app and, and trying to dig around and find it. This allows them to get to the learning content really quickly. Now, if you do want this to have offline access, one thing you have to consider is that within Google Drive itself, you do need to make sure that it is actually syncing. So I go to the settings in Google Drive, and then when I go to settings and I click on this icon right here, It'll say sync Google Docs, sheets, slides, drawings, files to this computer so that you can edit offline. That has to be turned on. I'm gonna give it some time to bake here uh, and I'll come right back. And uh, most likely this won't appear right away. If you have a lot of stuff in there, it takes a long time to sync everything up, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an offline test for you to show you that this does work if students do not have internet. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just close out of Chrome altogether and this document should be available now in the bookmark section. I'm gonna go ahead and just close. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reopen Chrome and it'll most likely come back and show my startup page because it's pulling it from the cache or the history. Okay, now that I have Chrome open, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now go off and turn off my Wi-Fi, like so. And actually I should have done that before I even opened Chrome. Now that my Wi-Fi is off, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to open the virtual learning document. And this is completely without internet. If you have that capability turned on in Google Drive and you allow it to sync long enough, then your bookmarked item will actually come up and the person that is operating this Chromebook will be able to go ahead and fill it out. Now, it does take some time to load. That is, it is pulling the offline version. And then once it loads, then the student can go in and start filling out the slides. I can fill out the rest of these Google Slides as the teacher directs. And then when I'm ready to get back to school and I hit the Wi-Fi, I'm able to go into classroom and turn it in. So it, this just goes to show that students are capable of being able to work on a Google Slides or a Google Docs presentation offline, and they can even just bookmark it. So that way they get easy access to it.